Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Palmetry. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, go on down and hit subscribe. We can wait for a second. Click. That's it. That's all you get. All right. We are here at Space Coast Book Lovers in Cocoa Beach, Florida, hosted by Terry D's Edney. And we are hanging with author Gina Ferguson. Gina, thanks for hanging with Thank us. Thank you. All right. Well, you're in the middle of working on a, a project right now. Spa Day. Yep. All right. I would ask what inspired this, but I think it's pretty spa day. As a writer, you don't get many of those. <laughs> As a mother, you don't get many As of those. As a mother, either. you don't get many of those. This is so this is truly a fantasy novel. No. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit uh, about Spa Day, what inspired it, where are you and when should we expect it? Um. Ish. Well, recently I had rewatched on Netflix The Client List. Oh, good so stuff. So I'm going to integrate that idea of having a special list of clients going to the spa from a hotel that it's connected to. Wow. So I'm working on it. Work just, yeah. It's working in process. It's a, it's a process, yeah. Um, so how many books are out there now? What number Six. is this? So this, this is, is number seven. seven. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, when did you start writing? I actually started writing when I was in high school. Okay. But I didn't take it as a serious move. Uh huh. Because you know, when you're young, you don't think about the possibilities of that kind of thing because it's just like a little hobby. And um, I didn't think I'd ever get published. But about mm, about six years ago, mm -hmm. maybe five and a half ish, I decided to go ahead and write a story down that I had run through my mind a couple of thousand times, and I just decided to put it down on paper. And I had some friends read it at work, and they thought it was really good. And um, I continued with it, and I finished the story, and I decided, well, what the heck? I'm going to give it a try, see if there's any publishers out there that would be interested. And believe it or not, the third publisher that I had sent it to nice. actually wanted to publish it. Awesome. That, in and of itself, is a gift. Right. Um, unfortunately, the relationship with that publisher didn't work out for very long. Mm -hmm. They, are, they were having other legal issues with other authors, so I pulled my work from them and decided to indie author those two books, okay. which was actually after I wrote my fourth one. Um, my third book that I wrote, the first two were with that original publisher. The third book was with another publisher, Tate Publishing. Fantastic people. Great. Unfortunately, they just went out of business. <laughs> so now I am 100% indie published. Well, so. you know, it's interesting because so many authors that, that we talk to, um, everyone has a different path on their artistic journey. Um, we have a lot of indies that would like to be hybrid or like to be traditionally published. Um, we have some uh, traditionally published authors who have come over to the indie world right. for either the freedom or for uh, you know, well, that's a great number of reasons. What was the transition from traditionally published to indie like for you? I found that with the experience of the two different publishers, um, especially with the second one, the second one gave me more perspective on editing mm -hmm. than I had from the first one. I had no idea how to edit a book. Does it make, does it make you a better indie publisher? Indie oh author yeah, because you to, already to know what you know what the ropes are. You've yeah. already gone through it with one publisher or in the second publisher, so you have well, an idea of what they do. Creating okay. is an art, but it's also a business. Mm -hmm. And publishers have been in business for a long time and been been publishing and marketing our work for you know hundred uh, two hundred years. Um, so yoking their strength, getting their knowledge, is irreplaceable. Right. Um, at the same time, uh, you know, a lot of indie authors would love to be traditionally published. Well, I mean, that would be totally up to them if they decide to do that. Yeah. Um, I feel better being 100% indie published. Besides the freedom of it, what I've learned, I can pass on to somebody else. And, and it is. And it, the community. 
is amazing. Oh, our, our, amazing. our book community is huge. I never realized how huge it oh, was. Oh, my Lord. And, you know, we, in a year and a half, we've been doing the show. Mm -hmm. uh, and we cover authors, but also artists, independent mm -hmm. filmmakers, uh, small press, you know, publishing authors. Um, the arts and entertainment community is truly a community. Yes. And it's, by, and it's, it's full of people who want to help you succeed. Um, and the internet uh, has shifted the arts and entertainment paradigm to such that you can succeed. Fifteen years ago, twenty years ago, you couldn't succeed as in uh, what what was then. You couldn't even go really independent publishing. You had to do self publishing. You had to buy forty seven thousand copies of your books and fill your garage with them. Um, there wasn't such thing as an e reader. Right. So, you know, when a lot of us started writing, this wasn't an option. True. And it, it certainly wasn't an option if you wanted to succeed because there wasn't a market for you. Um, now there is, and the community wants to help you succeed. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's unlike any other business I've ever seen because the person tabling next to you this weekend will want to help you sell your books. As much as I want to help them sell so theirs. There, that's right. It's an amazing community to be a part of. Um, so six books, what genre do you write? Spicy contemporary romance. Spicy contemporary romance. It's the internet. People do the math. <laughs> so, seven books. It went here. Six, six, six already. Six published. now, one coming. One coming. A series, six standalone books. How is that? Actually, that I have down? five standalone and, well, actually, four standalone and one has a sequel to it. Okay. Um, and all contemporary romance. Spicy contemporary. I like that, by the way. That's. <laughs> It's a very good way to put that. Um, okay, uh, we're going to put some links down below. Okay. Uh, to your social media pages, your Amazon account, uh, your personal phone number. No, <laughs> no I'm teasing. Uh, just ways that our people out there on the World Wide Web can stalk you and find your work cool. um, and look for you. And now we're going to get into the fun part of the show. I call this part clickbait. Clickbait are those crazy headlines that you just can't not click on. Like, you know, what was your favorite teen idol and what do they look like now? <laughs> See? Okay. We've taken that and bent it a little bit. She's found some really weird questions. She asks them. Sometimes they're really weird. Sometimes they're harmless. Just depends they're on where I go with them. They're always a surprise. <laughs> That's right. So, shoot. Okay. What song do you sing in the shower? Actually, I don't really sing that much in the shower. Hum. Now in my car, I sing car? whatever the radio is playing. Whatever the radio is playing. Just singing along. Mm -hmm. I like that. Do you get the words right? Most of the time. Most of the time? Of course, you know, it's because I have teenage daughters and they drum the music into my head. Into so. your head. What's the last song that, that, that one of your girls got stuck in your head? Like for the whole day, you just couldn't get rid of it. Oh, um. Because, you know, that's what, too kids, many. that's what kids do, right? They get up in the morning and they start. And by the end of the day, you find yourself humming in the kitchen. And you're like, what? why can't I get rid of that song? Do you remember No, right off was? the top of my head, there's so many. It's, I couldn't it's, You I couldn't can't even pick just one. No. It's, it's every day something different. Yes. The beauty of having children. Uh, if you were a candy bar, what would you be? Snickers bar. A Snickers bar. See that? And she had to do it. And that's what I got. An orangutan walks in holding a big stick and wearing a top hat. What does he say? Yeah, see? Ta-da! He announces his presence with authority. That's what the ta-da is. Ta-da! Okay. I'm here. See? <laughs> I think he was carrying a stick and a top hat. He already was announced. Yeah, he was good. All right, so you are a writer of spicy contemporary romance, but what is your hidden talent? Well, it was hidden till now. Now it's going to be on the internet. Um, You're going to get requests now at your next signing. I love to sing. You love to sing? Mm -hmm. Not in the shower. Only no. in the car. Well, or around karaoke. the house. Karaoke. Karaoke. Okay. Yeah. While you're vacuuming. Yeah, there you See, go. See, there you go. Um, okay. What kind of music? Any particular genre, or are you kind of a whatever? I'm eclectic. Genre? I like it. I like eclectic. Eclectic yeah. is good. I like all kinds of uh, music. We, you know, we all had to grow up sometime. Favorite Saturday morning cartoon? Oh, Scooby Doo. 
Scooby Doo. Outstanding. Love a good mystery. <laughs> and who doesn't love Shaggy? Okay, where are you going to be next? Where are you going from here? I am going to be Biobase Dessen, and then I'll be at IBF. Outstanding. Well, we will definitely see you up the road. Remember, folks, look down below for links. We've got to wrap it up, and we've got to say thank you to our partners and our friends over at Space Coast Comics, Famous Faces and Funny, Something Unique Magazine, the Florida Book News, and the great authors over at Wordfire Press. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing these videos on the World Wide Web. I'm GW Pomacher. We are at the Space Coast Book Lovers event in Cocoa Beach, Florida, hosted by Terry Dees Edney, and we're hanging with Gina Ferguson, the author of Spa Day, coming real soon. And until then... Go down to the links and grab one of, uh, one of Gina's other books. And just get yourself all... Enjoy a book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm GW Pomacher. Remember, folks, subscribe, log on. GW knows how in, to get tongue-tied, too. <laughs> and see who we're hanging with next. <laughs>